So, <clears throat> what's up everybody? Dirk here. Welcome once again to the dungeon. Um, I figured I'd start trying to do some more, you know, how-to videos. This is, you know, I do get questions of how I do this stuff, or the circuit diagram, or things of that nature. So I figure I'd start um, doing, you know, how-to videos with uh, uh, circuit diagrams. This is one example. Uh, one person had, had asked for a circuit, but it was the wrong coil, but I figured I'd do this anyway. Somebody already asked. Um, I forget who it was. My memory sucks. Um, but anyway, this is the uh, the Slayer Exciter over here that I built and showed you guys already. This guy right here, I'm going to slide off to the side here. So that's the that's Slayer Exciter that I was using with the big coil right there and the small coil that's up here. And here's a circuit diagram for you guys. Um, I'll just go through this really slowly, so if you need to pause the video, you can. Um, there's not very many uh, parts here. You get your two red LEDs, you can switch them up for green ones, or white ones, or yellow ones. Um, or you can just do standard uh, small signal diodes. That all depends. Um, if you really want to get in, de in depth with this, I'd, I'd just suggest looking it up. Slayer Exciter Circuit. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of stuff on Google that will uh, show you where to go from there. And the, the base resistor that I used was a 10K ohm resistor for each base and these are three transistors all the same t1 through 3 npn power transistor 700 volt 15 ampere and all these are basically in parallel only this one gets the leds um i tried the other ones with leds it doesn't really matter it will still work um i don't know if that makes a big deal or not but anyway so each base gets its own resistor as you can see and for the um, the input audio, which is right here, get your plus and your negative. Negative obviously goes down to your negative on the uh, power supply. And the audio, <clears throat> basically what I did was I, I put in series a 56 ohm resistor also onto the base of each transistor. And that's basically all that is. You get your, your feedback you know, from the secondary coil also going onto the base. With, uh, each transistor and then you get your power coming in onto the the coil through the collector and all the collectors are in parallel uh, yeah, fairly simple nothing fancy and there you go there's your times 356 ohm for the audio three times 10k which you can also play with i would i wouldn't suggest anything lower than a probably a 1k just to be on the safe side you might not have the same transistor that i have I'm using, let's see here, this is the E13009, um, there's different ones, this is from Fairchild, it's fairly good, I did fry this one, <laughs> that's why I only have three right now, put a little too much power on there, and with my setup I, I can go up to, to 50 volts at about 2 to 3 amps, using the big coil that's over there. So that's that's about it. And there's your two red LEDs that are right there. You could you could essentially put red LEDs for all these, or whatever kind of LED or dial that you want to use. It's all up to you. The experiment. Have fun. But uh, hope that clears anything up and helps somebody out. You know, uh, I mean the Slayer Exciter is pretty easy to set up, and the audio is really easy. I saw that from Tesla Spot 101. He unfortunately didn't have any audio. But he did a, a really good description in his video. And that's how I did it. So that's that. Um, I also used about 11,000 microfarads worth of um, filtering to try to get rid of any of that nasty hum from my Variac. But it's almost impossible to get rid of all that hum. So maybe some type of switch mode power supply, something to where you don't really hear that 50 or you know 50 hertz hum, or if you're in the states, 60 hertz hum. And, you know, it's, that's about it.
Nothing much, nothing much else. Oh, one thing I did not include. Shit. Right. <laughs> I didn't draw that in. But uh, each of these, uh, each of the emitters probably will, will get its own. Sorry about that for the really crude representation, but these are these are also resistors, and I used um, for each re resistor I used 0 0.22 ohm, 0 0.22 ohm, 0 0.22 ohm. Uh, I do hope yeah, everybody watches this video to the end so they do this. Um, so each each emitter from each transistor is going to get this um, this resistor at uh, I would say it a few watts if you're going to run this at higher powers and basically that means that it's you're, uh, they're almost guaranteed each transistor is guaranteed to share the load evenly and that's basically what that's there for and I highly recommend putting that in there so sorry about that guys <laughs> Well, you know, I didn't really sleep much uh, last night, so I had a feeling I was going to make some kind of mistake. But anyway, hope I cleared everything up, and I'll make another how-to video here very shortly with that uh, high-frequency coil that's right over there with your variable capacitor. I will do that next. So, cheers. Thanks for watching.